have seen to hold the Snyder here. Well, I think Mr. Snyder was here earlier, but I can't be certain. Did you check the dining room? Not yet, but I will. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Jack, no, wait. Golly. Why don't we go for a drink in the bar? Oh, I'm here on business. Jack. What is the matter with you? I can't let you go in there. Carly, I don't know what your problem is, but I've got to find Holden. Holden's not even in there. He hasn't been in there all night. The maitre d' said he saw him earlier. Maybe he's still there. Jack. <clears throat> Jack, come on. You know that I don't ask you for much. Okay, so maybe I do, but I, I need you to listen to me this time. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. Please don't go in there. Why? What is so horrible? Jack, I just heard the news. Oh, I was so shocked. You must be devastated. I guess so. Uh, well, let me tell you, once it gets in the papers, it's going to make such a scandal. Just promise me you will not make a scene. No, make of a course. Scene. Make a scene? Well, make a what scene, do I make a scene Lisa? over? Well, uh, Reed and Julia. Oh, well, I mean, they have a right. Reed and, and Julia? You know something, Jack? I, I think I did see Holden, and he was headed for the parking lot. I think if we go, if we go now, okay, we might Okay, okay, what is going on here? There's something you're not telling me. What is it? Well, I suppose we should make this official. Julia Lindsay, will you marry me? Of course I will. Anywhere but here. No, not like this, you're not. Yeah? You think you can stop me? The last time you got behind the wheel like this, you, you plowed into me with your car. We could have killed each other. It's not going to happen. I'm not taking that chance. Carly, right. Carly, give me my... I'm sorry. It hurt my arm. I'm not screwing around here. Neither am I. I'm actually saving your life. Come with me. Can your life get any worse? What are we doing here, Carly? Venting. In a wine cellar. What better place for a private rant? I'm not ranting. You ought to be. It's a start. Break a bottle of wine, Jack. Better yet, punch a hole in one of these barrels. Yeah, we'll have proof. Huh? We'll have proof. You're hurting, Jack. Oh, that's good. You're just gonna... Just gonna give up. Run away with your tail between your legs. You don't understand, Carly. Oh, Jack, I think I do. You just saw the love of your life get engaged to someone else. Someone you can't even stand to be in the same room with. Trust me, Jack, I understand that very well. I know how that feels. Your skin goes cold. And your throat closes up so much you can barely breathe, and your stomach twists like mad. And all you can do is think about all the plans you made together that'll never happen now. You even pray to God every night that the world will end so you won't have to spend another day alone. What do you want from me? I want you to be happy. Oh, you want me to be happy? That's, that's rich. How are you going to pull that off? By helping you do what I couldn't. I want to help you... Deal with this before it starts to control you. Yeah, I appreciate the thought, all right? But my happiness is not your concern. It was once. What does that mean? It was a time when your happiness was my only concern, Jack. And because I couldn't get over you, I spent every single minute of my life planning and plotting and lying and doing everything I could to, to keep you away from Julia. If it weren't for me, Julia wouldn't have turned okay, to him stop at all. this. All right, stop. No. You tried to take a blame before. And like a jackass, I led you. But there's only one person responsible for what happened here tonight. And that's me. Don't blame yourself, Jack. You're not responsible for what happened with Julia. But who else would be? Carly, I spent months trying to blame everyone around me. You... Reed, Julia, but there was only one constant through all of that, me. Not true, Jack. Why not? Half the time, I, I pushed Julia away when she needed me the most, and the other half, I held on too tight when she needed space. I was controlling. I made, I made demands and ultimatums. That's not love, Carly. 
Love is about trust and respect. <laughs> what the hell of a guy was not I? Yeah, I pushed her right into popping pills. Do you blame yourself? Carly, Julia couldn't turn to me. So she turned to pills. And she turned to read. Talk to her, Jack. It's not going to do any good. It's too late. If I've learned one thing, it's that it's never too late when you love someone. Carly, you saw the same thing I did up there. Julie is marrying Reed. She's got a rock on her finger. Here I am standing in a damn wine cellar. God. What do we do, Carly? Julie's moved on. Maybe I should too. You're right. Maybe moving on is the best thing for you to do. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to get the hell out of here. Right, Jeff, just promise me one thing, okay? Just promise me that you're not going to run Reed Hamilton off the road. Probably doesn't have the fabulous insurance coverage that I do. I really wish there was something I could do. You already have. You should go. I guess so. What's the matter? Let me try. It's an old bunch. Jack. I, I have nothing to do with no, you. No, Carly, you know what? I believe you, but that's not going to get us out of here. <laughs> that's great. It's great. Well, unless someone orders a bottle of wine, we're stuck. All night. Help! We're locked in here! Help! We're trapped. It's a fancy dungeon. Let me try. I'm gonna go home without it. Somebody open this door! Hey, easy. You're gonna hurt your leg. <laughs> perfect. Perfect end to a perfect night! Well, we're gonna get out of here, right? Oh, we, we have to get out of here. I have to get back up into the restaurant before... Let me guess. Before my brother notices you're missing. Doesn't look 